how to automatically send email to your customers from notion so let's say you are adding your customers data here into the notion software now as soon as you are adding the email address and name of the customers here an email will get sent automatically to the same person via gmail so that you do not have to manually copy the details of the customers compose an email and then send it to each customer one by one yes it is possible you just need to set an automation in between notion and gmail just once and after that whenever you're going to add the data here the emails will get sent to each customer automatically without doing anything manually so if you also want to learn this automation learn this process come with me and i will show you the process step by step to create this automation, I'm going to connect Notion software and Gmail application with the help of Pabli Connect. It is an amazing automation software and integration software and you can also reach here by typing pabli.com slash connect. I will also attach this link into my description box for your reference. Now, if you are a new user, you will have to sign up for free and in this free account, you will also get free tasks to test these kinds of amazing automation. I am already an existing user, so that is why I am clicking on sign in and then I will be clicking on access now and this is how I will reach out to the dashboard of Pabli Connect and from here exactly we are going to start creating our automation our workflow so firstly you will have to click on this blue button create workflow and just provide a name to your automation to your workflow I am providing the name as automatically send emails from notion database now click on create and you will actually find two boxes in front of you those are actually trigger and action trigger means when the happens action means do this okay when this happens do this understand with an example also that uh, whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application let's say send an email via gmail application well according to our use case whenever the data is added into the notion application automatically send an email via gmail application so we need to always select the applications in which we are setting up an automation and in this particular case we are actually connecting notion and gmail so that is why the first application here will be the notion and in the trigger event since i want that whenever the database whenever the new database item is created or you can say whenever the customer's data is added into the notion this automation should trigger this automation should start okay so trigger event will be new database item now click on connect and the idea here is we are connecting our notion account with pabli connect first so that we can capture the data here first in the pabli connect and then we are going to send the same data to the gmail application so click on add new connection click on connect with notion provide the access of your notion account i am already logged into the notion software so it will directly ask me for the pages so i'm going to provide the same click on select page pages and here I will be selecting all the pages click on allow access and don't worry Pabli connect is 100% safe and here you can see the authorization is successful and my notion software is connected with Pabli connect and whatever the databases are available into my notion account have started visible here you can see and I am going to select which one well I have created with the name all customers list where I'm managing the customers data okay so assume that I'm getting a new list a new customer so I will add that data here exactly okay so coming back here I'm going to select the same and I'll be clicking on save and send test request and you will see the most recent data which I have added into this particular application basically into the notion database will be captured here so let me show you the details one by one and here you can see yes so yes we have the property as yes we have the data as yes only let us check other details also so here we have the email address also that is admin at the rate pabletudes.com and yes it is the same email address and where is the name of the customer okay here you can see dummy customer and here in front of you also i'm going to add a new data here and you will see as soon as i'm going to click on this button the same data will be captured here okay so let me add the same so here you can see I have added the details of demo lead. So assume that the demo lead is the name of the client. Demo at the rate pablitudes.com is the email address. And if you want to send the email and yes, I want to send the email. I'll be clicking on this button once again and you will see the same data will be captured here. Here you can see demo lead is the name of the person. Here is the same email address. 
and where is the third detail and here you can see yes okay so the first step of our automation of our integration is actually done which was capturing the data of the notion database into the pabli connect now we are going to send the same data to the gmail application and this is how this automation is going to take place so i'm going to search for gmail and here i'll be selecting the same and since i want to send an email so that is why the action event will be the same well i have just a single action here only now click on connect and click on add new connection and again we are connecting our gmail account via which we would like to send the email so click on connect with gmail provide the access of your gmail account so i'm going to provide the same now click on continue and again do not worry pabli connect is 100 percent safe the authorization is successful and your gmail account is also connected with pabli connect now we just need to fill these details one by one okay whatever the details are important Important. I am going to just fill out those details only. Firstly, it is asking for the recipient email address. Well, instead of manually adding the data, we are going to map it as per the instructions. Enter text or map data. How and from where? Well, we have just received the data here and we are going to map the same data. And mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and you will find the above data here only. And even read the instructions. Insert the data from the previous step. So, yes, we are going to uh, fill the details from the previous step only well here for now i am going to add just to the dummy details only but while sending the actual message don't worry i will replace this particular email address with the genuine email address okay so don't worry i'll actually show you in real time that how it is going to work sender name well i want this email to send as the pabli so i have added the same and email subject email content type so let's take an example that i am opening a new branch of my restaurant of my cafe in Bhopal area and I would like to inform the same to each people by sending the email basically to the persons whose lead I already have okay so I have already created one nice message here you can see so I'm going to copy this particular email content and here in the email content section I'll be pasting the same data here and let us do the formatting of this particular email all right well i want to press enter here also and here also okay so the formatting is looking good and i have the email as hello dear well i want uh, the name of the person should appear automatically so i will be mapping this particular data from the notion database all right so how about i search for the name well i have the name as the demo lead where is that particular email all right and here you can see demo lead is the name of my lead we are happy to inform you that we are all set to open the new branch of a casual cafe in arira colony bhopal we cordially invite you to visit the cafe and enjoy the meals with amazing offer the inauguration day offer is buy any stuff worth rupees 100 okay so yes i am planning to send this particular email to all my leads whose data i am adding i am going to add here into the notion database okay so i have composed a nice email now i am going to add the email subject line also here so how about i keep the email subject line something like this new branch of casual cafe now in bhopal also so i am going to send the email with this particular subject line i hope i have provided all the details basically the recipient email address here the sender name here's the email subject line the email content type is actually plain and the last thing is the email content type in case you want to provide these details you can do the same as per your requirement but here finally i am going to replace this dummy email address with the genuine one and will click on this button and you will see the person will received the email automatically okay so i have added the email address i have actually replaced the genuine email address now finally i'm going to click on this button and you will see the email will be received here okay waiting for the response and here you can see it is saying that email has been sent and here you can see the email has just arrived with the same subject line new branch of casual cafe now in bhopal and here you can see the name has also replaced automatically we are happy to inform you that we are all set to open the new branch 
branch of our casual cafe in Arira Colony Bogal. We cordially invite you to visit the cafe and enjoy the meals with amazing offer. And the inauguration day offer is buy any stuff worth rupees hundred. Regards ABC Cafe. So this is how you can actually send the emails. And let's say let's assume that you are adding the data of multiple customers here, and you do not want to send this particular offer to any particular customer. In that case, of course, you are going to write here as no. So if you want this automation to work on the basis of your instruction that if you are adding yes, then the email should get sent. If you are adding here no, then email should not get sent. In that case, you can also introduce a new step here in between these two steps, basically above the Gmail steps as the filter. Well, with the help of filter, you can actually apply a condition within your automations. Okay, so I'll show you how you can apply the condition here in the selected label. You will have to search for this particular column that is send email. So I'm going to search for the same send. email okay here you can see we are applying the condition that whenever this particular column is equal to yes in that case only this automation should proceed otherwise it should not proceed and why this particular condition is false well i'll have to check it i have actually mapped something wrong here i'll had to uh, map this particular value okay so now i have mapped the correct value finally i will be clicking on this button once again and this time you will see the condition will be true why this condition is true because this This time we actually have the value as yes only, and assume that someone is adding here as no, and here the no value will be captured. In that case, what will happen? Let me show you. If that person will receive, if this automation will receive no as the value, this condition is going to false, and this automation will stop working here only. It will not proceed further. So this is how. If you want this automation to work on your instruction basis. you can introduce this particular step also and once you will add this step your automation is actually done and now on what's what will happen whenever you are going to add the data add the data of your customer of your leads into this notion database software and press yes or no the same data will be captured here into the pabli connect and based on the condition based on the response the emails will get sent automatically and what type of email will get sent well which we have composed in to this gmail step here let me show you this is the email which will get sent to each person one by one automatically and here i would like to show you one more very important thing that as i have said that this automation will work automatically but it will not work immediately why read the instructions that this trigger will check for the new data in every 8 hours so what will happen this automation will go to the notion database software and will check for the new data in every 8 hours so your emails will definitely get sent automatically but in next few hours and you'll have to wait for that okay so if just in case your emails are not getting sent immediately in real time do not just bother because here the instructions are already given that it will definitely going to send the email but in next few hours so yes you can use this automation to automate your email sending process but do not expect to work it in the real time immediately right after adding the data and you need to set this automation inside pabli connect just once once you have created this automation inside pabli connect sit back and relax because pabli connect will take care of all the task in the back end automatically in case you want to clone this setup into your account i will attach this shareable workflow link into my description box from where you can clone the same workflow into your account that too for free and for that you just need to sign up into the pabli connect and again that is also free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video